In today's video we will take a look at how I created game in Unreal Engine 5 in just 7 days without any prior experience. So I decided to start learning Unreal Engine 5. In the past I've made a few games in Game Maker, one small project in Godot, a larger game in Easy FPS Editor and now the time had finally come for Unreal Engine itself. However, I don't enjoy learning things just for the sake of learning, so I prefer working on them right away. So I set a goal to create a complete game. I had zero experience with this engine. Well, okay, I had opened it a few times, clicked around and then I closed it. But that was it. So I knew I had to come up with something simple. The first step was finding a beginner friendly tutorial. Luckily for me I found a great tutorial in Czech that explained the basics really well, but it felt more like school lecture. I knew I would come back to it when needed, but I mainly wanted something where I could immediately start creating a game. I found a create your first game tutorial from YouTuber called Gorka Games and started with this tutorial. The first thing that surprised me was how long Unreal Engine takes to start. Sometimes even more than 3 minutes, but I kind of expected, because my PC is more than 6 years old. I followed the tutorial, thought I didn't always fully understand what I was doing, especially with the blueprints, but in the end I got almost everything working except for one small issue and I had the basic foundation to build on. The key thing for me was to create my own condition in the blueprints, being able to turn off flashlight on and off with the same button. I consider this one of the most important mechanics because it serves as foundation for the entire interaction system for me. After completing about 80% of the tutorial, which I definitely recommend it if you are a beginner, it was time to start working on my own game. As I browsed through the fabs projects and templates, I realized there weren't actually that many. However, I came across Locomotion version 4, which is excellent template to use as a base for game, and it's completely free. You probably remember the trend from the few years ago with only app style games where the goal was to climb as high as possible in the shortest time. With the random assets floating in the air that didn't really make sense, I have feeling the original only app was built using this very locomotion template because it contains all the necessary functions. Thanks to this I had solid foundation and all I needed to do was add environment models, visuals and few small things like a timer. It was the perfect project to experiment with. So the plan was clear and that was to create a vertical platformer. Or sometimes as they say, challenge platformer. The first thing I needed to do was replace the default character model. Since the mannequin wasn't quite what I needed, I decided to use only free assets from the Unreal Store. The store is now integrated with FAP, which is great. It's super easy to drag and drop models into your projects. So I started searching for free character models and I found a few nice ones. I tried the first one that seems like a good fit. Unfortunately, it had a different skeleton than the mannequin, so replacing the model didn't go smoothly. I tried several others, but with no luck, and when I just was about to lose hope, I found this adventurous looking character, and surprise, it had the same bone structure. That means the rig worked perfectly. Awesome, I have my main character for the game. Thanks to the locomotion template, the character could already jump, run, grab ledges, and perform many useful actions right from the start. The next step was creating the environment. In only up game, assets were placed randomly, for example like floating bus, furniture and all sorts of weird objects. But I wanted my game to feel more realistic, so I envisioned a setting where you play as an explorer trying to reach a destination. I found free environment assets on the official Epic Games Store called Soul Cave, exactly what I was looking for. I don't have enough disk space for ultra realistic environment scans and my old PC wouldn't handle them anyway, so this was the perfect choice. I designed the environment as canyon where you could keep climbing higher and higher. I used rocks, statues, pillars, wooden beams and vegetation to make the setting more varied. 
Sometimes I had to tweak the collision meshes because some were missing and others were too simple to climb on. To make the game more than just jumping, I wanted to add some obstacles, so I created a rotating boulder. In Unreal Engine, making an object rotate as an animation is surprisingly simple. In the end, I built a complete vertical platformer map, I added uh, mountains in the background and nice ground texture as a floor. I marked the final goal with a glow and golden apple, symbolizing eternal life. Okay, Okay, I just found it in the store, nothing deeper behind that choice. I also wanted to add something epic at the end, I thought it was, it would be cool if player had to jump onto dragon at the right moment. Of course, this would be triggered by the event, unfortunately I couldn't find a free dragon model that worked, but I found something even better, a pterodactyl. And I think this dinosaur is even better, because it makes a prehistoric feel of the place. Anyway, jumping onto it was extremely difficult, because you have to jump on his head. But in the end I got it working, I even added an invisible platform on its back to make landing easier. Next I worked on the mechanics, the player can now die if they fall from too high. I added a countdown timer and I implement a ragdoll effect upon falling, making the game feel more realistic. Of course I had to add sound effects, jumping, falling, ambient landscape noises, the pterodactyl's roar and epic music for the final. Then I created the required UE screens, main menu, victory screen and game over screen. Finally I added a simple intro where I experimented with cutscenes. Then it was time to export the game. At first it kept throwing errors, the game only exported the menu, so if I clicked new game I was again in the menu, but in the end ChatGPT helped me to figure it out that I needed to add all the maps in the project settings. And voila, it worked. Of course the game has a million bugs and glitches, and it's far from the optimized. If you restart it reloads the entire engine, which is unnecessary overheat. The game is available on itch.io, so if you want to try it, let me know if anyone manages to reach the top, but I must warn you that the game is extremely difficult and there is no checkpoints. So if you want, you can try. And yeah, this is my first game in Unreal Engine 5. And this whole project uh, took me around 7 days. I will be happy if you like and subscribe. Check my other videos. You can also support me with buying my recent game called Satan. As always, sorry for my bad English, take care and bye.